Hello, everybody. Hey. 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 It's hard to top the last performances. <laughs> but good thing that I'm not singing. <laughs> yeah. Well, this one will be short and sweet. Not that the others weren't sweet. <laughs> By the way, a little information there's a wine bottle over there, but no corkscrew. So if anybody of you has a corkscrew, you'll be the heroes of today. <laughs> you'll be the real MVPs. <laughs> I'm going to recite a poem. But I'm also going to play a game, because I'm not from here, and by here, I'm not, I don't mean Malone. I'm not from the States. And at the end of my speech, I mean, from the way I look, my accent, I will ask you to guess where I'm from. And if you guess it, guess it right, I'm going to sing a song in my native language. How does that sound? That's great. I'm going to win. <laughs> so it will be a short segue to the poem, the poem, and a song, maybe, optional. I, I give a lot of speeches and each time I get very excited. Right now I'm also super excited, but I guess this is a good part because it means you actually care. You like doing what you like. So it doesn't matter if it's like 10 people listening to me or a thousand or 10,000. And probably I have done this more than a thousand times and I'm happy to be excited every single time. By the way, I would like to give a big applause to the lady who is opening the wine bottle over there. So. <laughs> Don't finish it till I come there. <laughs> and this poem that I'm going to recite in a moment and the intro that I will do is about allowing yourself to feel what you feel. And because right now I'm 35 years old, I know I don't look like 35, but <laughs> I have made the mistake many times in my life where I judge people for feeling bad and with good intentions. I have a few stories, but just shortly, I remember a very good friend of mine being very sad after a breakup and I remember judging and being very harsh to him because I felt he didn't deserve to be sad. And after five, six years, I lived the exact same thing after a breakup, which really traumatized me. And then I apologized to him of, because I judged him back then, even though it was with good intentions. Or once when I was walking with a friend of mine who was slightly younger than me, like 17, I remember him being sad about another story, probably a breakup because that's what teenagers do. And I remember being angry at him for being sad. And I was trying to come up with solutions on how not to be sad. And he said something that really affected me. He said, he's 17. He said, I just want to share this with you. That's it. I'm not looking for a solution. And I was like, wow. I got schooled real good by him. And all these experiences made me understand that I do not need to feel happy or motivated or productive all the time. And you know, in these motivational speeches on YouTube and when you go to a seminar, you always hear these things, right? Wake up at 6 a.m., grind every day. Don't feel like a loser, don't do that. But, well, that's the, the failure is very much stig stigmatized or not wanting to do anything or the burnout culture because we're coming from a hustle culture. And I find that very unproductive and very unhealthy. And this has to stop at some point. Because I feel it in myself. Each time, whenever I try to sweep away the bad or negative feelings, that's because they were judged by society and we weren't supposed to feel sad, cry, especially if you're a guy, at least in many cultures, because men don't cry, right? It becomes a bigger trauma and you turn into a person who is not able to express their feelings clearly and we become unhealthy individuals. And now, at least in this stage of my life, I allow myself to feel what I want to feel because you don't have to feel happy or positive feelings all the time. And that's basically the motto of my speech. Now when I feel sad, I treat it like a physical pain. When your arm hurts, do you say, okay, please stop hurting? No. You say, because this is a message from your body saying something is wrong. And it's the same with emotional feelings. When you feel bad about something, it's a message. It can be a lesson to be learned, but for me, the best way is to sit down with that feeling without trying to sweep it away and allowing that feeling to stay as long as it's supposed to without trying to chase it off. And that was a valuable lesson for me that I want to share with you. And the funny part is, this is not a modern, modern notion. People have spoken about this 
since the near and far history as well. There's a very ni nice song. I'm sure Stella knows it. It's by Pink Martini. It's a French song. You know that song? Je ne veux pas travailler. Je ne veux pas déjeuner. Je veux seulement oublier. Et puis, je fume. Which means, probably most of you don't know, but you don't have to. It means, I don't want to work. I don't want to have breakfast. I just want to forget and smoke. You don't have to smoke, that's like the last part. But sometimes it's okay not to work. Sometimes it's okay just to feel like doing nothing. And that will make you a more productive person in the long run. And even looking further back in the history, there is a very nice poem. And that is the poem. Who knows the Persian poet, Jalalatin Rumi? Ooh, yeah. I still didn't come to the level where I know this poem by heart, so I'm going to take out my poem and recite it. And the poem is called The Guest House. And I would encourage you to Google it and read it later again to internalize it because it took 